What is up you guys? Today is probably the most exciting day of the past, I don't know, year, because today is the day that I get to finally share the workbook. I have been writing this, working on this for the past year. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys. One big question that I've been seeing a lot is, where have you been? What have you been doing for the past month? I have literally been perfecting, editing, making sure that this baby can launch on time for March 1st and we have it finalized and I can finally share this with you. So this has come to fruition through years and years. And you guys, if you've been following me for years and years, you know that I have shared my love for workbooks. I've also shared the goal of one day writing a workbook. I was actually watching like a really old video the other day where I just share my passion for it. And I want to take you through what this is, what it isn't, a little deep dive into a little bit of a sneak peek when it's going to launch all the details and kind of answer all the questions that you guys have been asking about it. So like I said, for the past, I don't know how long I've been working on this. Um, anytime that we have been flying, anytime that we're in Florida, time that's spent in the pool, I've shared it on my stories. This was to say a labor of love is like the biggest understatement ever. I've taken everything that I've learned over the past 10 years of just how I've grown. This is a process that I took myself through and it completely changed the course of my life. So the workbook is called My Dream Life Blueprint. It is under the Daily Grind umbrella. The idea is that it stemmed from my own passion and my own studies in architecture. So it kind of pays tribute to that by it being a blueprint on the cover and by the entire concept of it, redefining your life, basically taking you apart and putting you back together in the way that most matters to you. But in also the way that the workbook is structured, it is done like an artist pad. So it is on a vertical spiral bound notebook. And when you go through this, and one of my favorite parts that you're gonna see, I was actually going through the reset routine, which is a video to come. Probably the next video that you're gonna see is gonna be me setting up my own reset routine. So what I love about the workbook is that it will actually open up and you can set up your reset routine with your notes. And then there's a blank one here if you wanna do it again. So everything just kind of opens up open face the backdrop of every other chapter is different. So some have grid lines, some have dot grids, some have blueprint grids. It's kind of different, kind of cool, kind of awesome. Um, what this is not. And so in the first couple pages, I explain this. I go through the table of contents. I go through what this workbook is and is not. And if anybody has an opinion on this, I feel like it's me because I've shared it so many times and I have gone through so many workbooks, even in my studies of trying to build this workbook, I pulled out every workbook that I still had in the house. And there were so many that I noticed that it only made it to like, not even chapter one completed. And I think the reason for that was a combination of two things. Either it was a ton of writing on my part, like a ton of work on the purchasers part of things where I just, it might as well have been a journal. It might as well have been a book that I bought or like a lined notebook or notepad with just lines on a piece of paper. Like a lot of them look like this with one prompt at the top and then just a ton of space to write, which to me was overwhelming and not something that I wanted to go through. In me writing this workbook, I really wanted to do the work for you so that all that I needed to do was prompt you and you could have more breakthroughs faster. The other thing that I noticed in the workbooks that I wasn't using that were in the house and that I didn't even make it past chapter one was that the flip side, it wasn't a ton of writing on my part. They wrote a ton of stuff. So it was ultimately just a book that I could have read and not really a ton of space for me to actually have the breakthroughs. So I feel like this is not only tangible stuff that you can use, but it's 10 chapters of almost every single page being an actionable activity that you can go through and have a breakthrough. So let's go through the chapters and I want to go through this first page with you. So I talked about how this isn't a journal. This is not a planner. We have the daily grind planner. Um, the daily grind planner has like the no bleed through pages and the hardcover and all of that. This is supposed to be a workbook. So I just use my pen. I go through it for reference. I went through this myself. So I printed off every single page myself and it took me about a day and a half to two days and a half to go through it at my leisure, like not straight up. I was in the weeds with it, made myself a nice drink, lit a candle, took my time going through. It was super enjoyable. I did have moments of breakthrough myself, which was super powerful. 
I did shed a couple of tears and the realizations that I had were so powerful, even though I was the one that wrote the book, like so good. But that was something that really mattered to me is even though I have taken myself through this process and that was how I designed the entire book, once it was completely finished cover to cover, I wanted to go through it cover to cover in true daily grind fashion. So this is not a planner, not a book, not a ton of stuff that you're gonna have to read, not a journal, not a ton of stuff that you're gonna have to write. Um, it's a workbook. It really is a space for you to be able to jot down your ideas and truly be the artist and designer of your own life. So I have the table of contents opened and I wanna go through this with you. And I am gonna show you some little parts in the book. Um, one question that I get asked a lot, and I am gonna do a couple live Q and A's on this, but one question that I'm getting asked a lot in my DMs, and this goes for the planner too, I get a lot of questions. Will this be available in PDF? The answer simply put is no. One, because I love to share things that work for me. So I'm not gonna put something out that I don't truly use, that I don't believe in. I feel like that's phony, that's unauthentic, and if you guys know anything about me, I'm like the most unfiltered real person that you'll probably ever meet. I don't use a digital planner, so I don't feel right putting one out. Would we eventually have some form of productivity, digital component to the daily grind? We could, but will it ever be put in a PDF digital form? Probably not. Same thing with the workbook. The other half of this is that for copyright and our own security of what we've created at the daily grind and now being, I guess I would consider myself an author since I wrote the book, it kind of would suck if this would just be published online. So with that said, it will be printed and I know that you will get the best results going through this, pen to paper, writing this down, not just printing it out, if that makes sense. So it will be shipped out in printed form, almost 200 pages, 10 chapters. So let's go through the 10 chapters together. I'm excited. Okay, so the first chapter is, and if you went through the Daily Grind series, and if you didn't yet, when you get this, or maybe while you're waiting for it, go do the Daily Grind series. It's a 31 day series. We go through the entire Dream Life Blueprint and we go through up to chapter four. Not completely in depth, we don't go through every single page, but you get a pretty good idea of everything. And really the first chapter is figuring out where you are really. So where you are authentically, no BS, no fluff in your life and figuring out where you currently are. Because here's the thing, if you're gonna set a GPS for all the goals and the things that you wanna achieve in life, you gotta know where you are. And the other thing is that will evoke a certain sense of emotion of the way that I'm gonna break this down for you, that it'll probably make you want to make changes because we're gonna talk about the things that you might be embarrassed by, or let's say there's one page that it's called Picture This, and you're at a party or a family reunion or a high school reunion, and you gotta share your highs and lows of your life and just where you're at and the current status of your life. What are you embarrassed by? How would you rank your life out of 10? So that type of stuff, I prompt you and we take you through where you are really. So that's about the first 25 pages and we really set the tone with that. Chapter two is one of my favorite chapters because I created three different quizzes. And I love a quiz. I was that girl that I had Cosmo Girl and the Cosmopolitan Magazine and I loved those like quizzes that we did. There's a lot of that in the workbook and it's super fun and it's really quick to go through, but the breakthroughs that even I had about this was insane. So the second chapter is called, Who Are You Really? We're gonna go through your personality traits, really uncover that. And my point in this chapter is that you need to understand that there is nothing wrong with you. You are not broken. You are not too aggressive or obnoxious or loud or quiet or standoffish or maybe a recluse that wants to stay home. There is nothing wrong with you. It's just your personality. So once we have that, we can get to work. So the third chapter after that, we go through what you value most. So very similar to your personality, your values are what make you who you are. It's, it's literally the blueprint of your life. It comes down to how you were raised, what society has told you, what you truly value yourself. And what we hope to uncover in this is what truly fills your cup, not what someone has told you that you need to do but what you really love and what you're passionate about and what you value in life. So once we can get real and raw with that, so we've gone through those three chapters of where you are, who you are and what you value, then we can talk about your goals. So we go through not only how to set your goals and what you'd love to accomplish, but again, breaking free of that whole, what your parents told you you should do or what your boss tells you you should do or maybe what your spouse tells you you should do or what some stranger once upon labeled you as and that's how you kind of label yourself. And so 
I feel like sometimes we set goals based off of external expectations and external things. And that's why when we achieve them, we're not happy or fulfilled. So we're going to figure out how to set big goals properly, how to achieve them and get to what you really want. So chapter four is called, what do you really want? Now, I don't think that we got to chapter five at all in the blueprint series and what i would love to do full disclosure is make this an entire academy so that i can coach you guys one-on-one -on -one and take you through this in like a virtual video way in the future as well but this like i said these 10 chapters chapter one through four will take the longest because you're just uncovering so much and then you kind of rock and roll through it which is awesome so i feel like the day and a half was up until chapter five. Then chapter five, we figure out what drives you. One of the biggest questions I get asked on the daily, under my videos, on the Daily Grind podcast is how do I get motivated? Like how, Angie, how can I find that drive? Like how do I figure out how to achieve X, Y, and Z? How do I tap into that? So based off of where you are, who you are, what you value and what your goals are, based off of your personality and the things that you value, there's a way to motivate yourself that's in that chapter. So there's going to be a couple more quizzes, a couple more ways to unlock that productivity and unlock just what the heck motivates you? Like, why do you want it? And how do you get after it? So that's chapter five. And it blows my mind that whenever I, I was writing this out and I just wanted to show this to you guys, I have these notes here. I have like a thousand different notepads. This was the original notepad that I wrote with cocktail in hand. And it's so dirty now, but it was the 10 chapters. And I broke down like what, what will be the layout of this workbook? And so this has come with me almost everywhere throughout the past year in just writing this book. And those, those 10 chapters got redone a couple times, changed around. And I really think that the sequence of them, by the way, this is meant to be done in order. Um, I feel like if you kind of do it out of order, you might set some goals based. You'll learn more if you do it in order. It's just, it's meant to be in that sequence. So chapter five, what drives you the most recognize what motivates you and how to make it all happen. Chapter six. I love this chapter so much. And so many of you are gonna be like, I need that. What is draining you? We're going to talk about boundaries. We're going to talk about how to say no. We're going to talk about, talk about how to protect your peace. Um, and I'm going to give you my best, best, my best methods as to how to do all of that. So we're not only going to figure out for you what is actually draining you. And you might have some revelations in this. This was the part that made me emotional because I was like, it's all within my control. And I didn't realize that and things that were stressing me out or draining me. I could just set a simple boundary and I didn't realize that I could do that. So I had a lot of breakthroughs in chapter six myself. And I feel like you're probably going to have even more. So I'm super excited about that because considering the fact that I had breakthroughs and I wrote the dang thing is kind of insane. Chapter seven. So once we figured out what has drained you and how you can set your boundaries, we're going to figure out how you can reset to move forward and to be able to build your dream life. I believe that we all love and need a fresh start. So that is why I talked about the reset routine. That is what is in that chapter. Um, we talk about fears and what controls you again, based off of chapter two and your personalities and your values love that. So everything kind of circles back, which is why I said you should be doing a certain sequence, um, how to leave the fears behind and how to bounce back. So we've talked about bounce back rate before on the daily grind podcast and whatnot bounce back for me is huge, but a fresh start is even bigger, especially if you want to get after it. So that's chapter seven, chapter eight is where is your time going? So I talk about productivity, time management, where you're wasting your time. There's actually this full timetable as to like how to calculate your extra hours in the week. Yes, we do the time wheel in this, good. So that part of productivity is very different than what drives you. The dri what drives you in chapter five is like, let's get you motivated. Let's get you going. Chapter eight is more so productivity and let's figure out like how you're going to do this and let's get real about where your time is actually going. Chapter nine, the last two chapters are the most powerful and where you will probably have the most amount of breakthroughs, tears, and epiphanies more. So chapter nine as the biggest one close second chapter two chapter 10. What needs to change? This is like your line in the sand. This is your breakup. You're actually going to write a breakup letter with your old habits. Um, and you're going to determine why growth is a more beneficial route for you than staying in the same place. And it will probably rip your heart out a little bit, 
but it will be that line in the sand that you probably need of like no more. Like I can't, I can't do these things anymore, these toxic habits that I'm doing, or just certain traits that you might have that you know are holding your, you back, such as fear or personality, things that you're doing to yourself, self-sabotage, whatnot, you're gonna have a lot of epiphanies in chapter nine. So now that we've gone through chapter one through nine and going through all of these things, you need a game plan. We're gonna set up your routine. We're gonna set up your morning routine, your evening routine, and we're gonna build your dream life. I'm so freaking excited for you to go through this. So I'll give you a couple of sneak peeks. Um, if you are in our Facebook group, if you own a daily grind planner, you can watch the live in there. I will answer, I'll just do like a free flow and Q and A, share all the things. If you are a subscriber on my Instagram page, I'm also gonna do a lot of behind the scenes. And then I'm also gonna go live on the Instagram daily grind page. So I'll be all over the place. If you need a spot to follow, for any updates about the launch, check out the Daily Grind Instagram page. The launch, I probably should have started with that. The launch is on March 1st, so tomorrow. We are doing a pre-launch with, it's, this is not like a multi-month pre-launch here. The pre-launch is simply for 15 days. So by the 15th, orders should begin to, f to be fulfilled and ship out. That is our target. Um, as per usual, launches are usually at this time with us. So 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific is the official pre-sale launch time. If you are in our Facebook group or you are a subscriber on my Instagram page, you will get early access an hour before we will open it up at 2 p.m. for you guys. So that's for our current customers. That is for my subscribers on my Instagram, little perk and little behind the scenes. So let's go through, I just wanna flip through this and like show this to you a little bit because this, it's really pretty. So this page is called the time machine. This is in the first chapter. And this is how there's prompts here, plenty of space to write. So this is a nine by 12 layout, which is a traditional artist pad layout. So for me, I feel like this gives you one thing that we really wanted to listen to was the feedback that we were getting on the planner. And one feedback that we do get is that you guys want more space to write. Like just if you have a bigger handwriting, no problemo. So this isn't meant for you to have to feel like you need to journal a thousand words, although there is space for that. And I'm gonna show it to you. So this is an example of like stepping into your dream life. What are you excited about? This is the first prompt in the entire workbook. And you can see how the background has that like grid line. I'm gonna show you what the end of every single chapter looks like. Oh, a lot of you guys wanted to know this. So there was so many requests to put everything that I talk about in our vision board parties that we do, that you guys love. There was so many requests to put some of those elements into the planner. Here's the thing with that. I don't want you carrying around a big old book of a planner with a ton of pages in it just to have you do it once. Get what I'm saying? So I don't wanna add book elements to a planner. That's why we created the workbook. So there was a ton of requests to do the wheel of life. I literally sketched this myself. So there is space for you to do your own, to map out your big 10 in your wheel of life. So it's all in here, you can do it. And what I saw a couple of you guys saying in the Facebook group and online was what you guys were planning on doing was when you get a new planner for four months, you're gonna invest in a new workbook. So I would suggest either every couple of months to do that, like either every quarter or once a year, go through and rejig where you're at. Cause I feel like I did this probably a month ago and I already kind of want to re-go through it cause I'm that excited. Like it, it, I love that it rocked and rolled. Like, and I did not struggle to do it chapter to chapter, like chapter one, chapter 10, no problemo. And that was going to be my gauge of if I struggled to go through it, I knew someone else would. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to rock and roll that you would literally go through this cover to cover. That's how I built the planner. And I have gotten so much feedback on the planner that this was the first planner that you've ever used cover to cover. And that was my goal. I don't want you to have something that's collecting dust. So I'm going to show you, like I said, what's at the end. By the way, if you want to test out the workbook there, this page is available for free on the website, on the daily grind website. So you can download it and use it and just kind of get a vibe for it. Um, so that is digitally available. So this is what every end of every chapter looks like. So there are top takeaways, and I love that this lines up, that it goes, I love that. So there's top takeaways, 
four top takeaways for every single chapter so that you can do a little quick recap and you have your notes and you can just remember the breakthroughs that you had. And then the final page always has this. So a little title at the top just so that you can remember what chapter you're on and what your notes are. So use the space for any doodles, notes, and thoughts on the chapter that you just went through. Where are you really? And then every so often there's these little Easter eggs. I have to share this with you so that you can watch for them. There's these little Easter eggs from me of like, you're doing great, keep going. Little, little notes of love. So I just wanna show you real quick what the assessments look like, the personality quizzes, and I'll show you one other really cool thing that is like a fan favorite. So this is the assessments. There's three assessments in the second chapter, and this is how quick they are to go through. So there's the question at the top, and then you just bloop, put the one that most embodies who you are. And you're gonna have so many epiphanies, it's so good. And then there's all the answers. I love it. And then there's spots for notes. So the part that I think it was in, yeah, it's right here. So I did two of these as per the request of one of our editors, she was like, that was so good and you need to put that twice. So this is called the motivation map. This is in the, what chapter are we in? Oh, this, I'll show you also how every, so this is in what drives you the most. So every single chapter starts this way too with a little bit of motivation, your chapter at the top, and then we go into more quizzes. So in the what drives you the most, I figured that we would do a motivation map and you know how I mentioned the Cosmo type of quizzes. The other thing that they always had in those magazines was like, if you're, you're here, so start here and then answer this question. Then if your answer is yes, then go this way. And then you kind of go down that map. I wanted to create my own. So if you're struggling with a couple tasks, so this is the question. What are some tasks that you are yet to start? List them here. What's one of these that you need to gain momentum on now? Put that here. Have you gotten to take any action on this goal yet? Yeah, a little, not at all. And then it keeps going. It takes you through like a whole boop. And then I, I put it on here twice so you could have it twice. So I'm incredibly proud of this. Um, I'm so happy that it's launching. I have gotten many requests to give some sneak peeks, some just little, little words of thoughts of what's going on with it. And I have stayed tight-lipped for months because I didn't want to share anything and I love that I can share all of the things now. So the I'll leave you just with what I wrote on the back of the planner and I, I do want you to know this was not ghost written. This was written 1000% by me. Um, it was edited by our team at The Daily Grind as well as Andre. We put so much love and time and passion and energy into this. And it truly is something that I've taken myself through. So there's a little, I don't want to get emotional. There's a little part in the beginning and I just want you to know that I didn't just write it to write it. This wasn't supposed to happen. If you're at a point in your life right now where you're so stuck and you're so in a struggle, I just want you to know that I've been there. And one thing that I did and I, I remember exactly where I was. I was on my washroom floor and I was so frustrated, which is the state of my life and I knew that I needed to change. This stemmed from that. This really was not supposed to happen. And to think that I came from that place to this was really due to what is in these 10 chapters. So I hope that if you're at this place in your life where you just feel stuck, just please know that it's not the end, it's the beginning. You can rewire it. And if anything, you're at a really good spot. It means that it's time to change. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. So I wanna take you through just what I wrote on the back cover of this. It really is 10 chapters of love. I want you to be able to end this book by creating your own morning routine because that was the thing that has become such a powerful piece on my YouTube channel somehow and I don't know if you know this, and this is something that I've shared, I think privately before, I'm pretty sure it's in my academy, but I've shared that my morning routine video was just stemmed from me writing out what I hoped that my morning routine would look like. And then I kind of built that. So for you to be able to design a morning routine based off of something that's realistic, that aligns with your goals and your values and your personality is everything. And we also did a nighttime routine in there too and a reset routine. Um, we're gonna work through any negative thoughts and frustrations that you might have. So 
that page where I shared that Angie was on the washroom floor and just so frustrated and that really was a time in my life where I just, I didn't know what to do with myself. Like I, I just felt like I was floating through life and I needed purpose and we're gonna work through that for you. And if anybody knows how to do that, it's me. And I have so much, I cannot even express how much empathy I have for you because that is the crappiest place to be in life. When you just feel like you're floating and you don't know what the next step is, I've been there and I've got you. And I really think that this is gonna uncover it and fast. Like you're not gonna be on this for like a couple of weeks and trying to work through it. Like we're gonna get you your answers. Um, gain clarity on who you are and your personality type and once and for all recognize that there is nothing wrong with you. It's just who you are and you are amazing. Figure out what drives you and what motivates you with the motivation map and all of the other goodies in here. Overcome fear and procrastination. Unlock exactly what you want in life and design your dream life with your own blueprint. So I love you guys. I was not thinking that that was gonna happen. And now I have to go live in the Facebook group and try not to bring this emotion to that. But I will see you guys on March 1st. I will also see you guys in the next video, the reset routine. I think that'll be really vibey and really awesome. And there's a lot of love put into that video also. It's already started being filmed and edited. So I'm super excited about that. So you, you can look out for that one. This will be on sale at 3 p.m. Early launch for our subscribers and for our VIPs in the group. And you're amazing. Thank you for being here. I know this was a little bit of a longer video, but I'm super excited. This means the world and you guys mean the world. So thank you and I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you on launch day. Bye you guys.